Hey guys, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy pencil case. We are going to need a 15 inch zipper. I have a pattern up on my blog and you're going to need some grommets. I'm using five millimeter grommets. I'm hoping these will work. They seem like they will. Um, and I'm using some sort of stabilizer. I'm actually using felt here because our two layers of felt just because I don't have any stabilizer on hand right up here. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do this. Oh, and this is the back piece, front piece, front piece. So. <laughs> okay, Tristan, are you, are you ready to show them what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. So we are going to start by taking the top piece and putting on our zipper. So you want to make sure the direction or the fabric's going in the direction you want. This is uh, bi-directional fabric or whatever. So it's fine. It doesn't matter. But I did want the um, owl face up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our, um, where are you going? Super buddy. Super buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Um, we are going to put our zipper right sides down. Are you going to help me? We don't touch, right? We don't touch. No, no, we, we can touch that yet, but don't touch the sewing machine. Okay, so we're going to put it right sides down in our fabric. And normally you'd want to pin this. I don't have time for that. So I will show you what this looks like. There we go. So <laughs> as you can see, it's right sides down. We're going to sew this using our zipper foot. I'll show you that. Zipper foot there, and um, yeah, and then we can flip it and top stitch. Okay, we back stitch at the first part of this. Oh, are you helping, buddy? You try to get pretty close to the zipper or the part of the zipper. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Yo. Okay, so as you can see, it's attached, and then we can flip it this direction so we can top stitch. You really want to go ahead and press this first before you top stitch, um, it'll look a little nicer. So as you can see, we now have it top stitch. Okay, at this point you are going to lay your other piece of fabric on the other side of the zipper um, <laughs> face down <laughs> sorry um, and again you want it once it's sewn on to be in the right direction that you want and again this is bi-directional it doesn't really matter but this guy was in the middle this guy was kind of in the middle so I assume or I, I want to treat that like the, the, the direction I want to go um, so I'm gonna line this up I'm gonna sew again press and then or turn it press and then again top stitch okay so as you can see i've got both sides top stitch i've got my zipper i can uh move this over <laughs> man i really need this out of my drawer. so i can move that over i'm actually going to keep it mostly closed and just leave a little bit because we're going to end up being we're going to end up sewing over this now Okay, so this is what we have. We have the piece we just sewed the zipper on, which was the front. We have the back face down on top of it. We have the zipper open slightly because we're going to turn it through there. We are going to pin this whole thing in place. And I also pinned my, um, my felt or if you're using stabilizer, stabilizer, you want to leave yourself a little bit of a room for a seam allowance. Um, we're going to sew all the way around first pin of course but we're gonna sew all the way around um, cut our corners a little trying not to get any stitching and then we can flip it right sides out through this gap and um, I'll show you what that looks like okay so this is sewn in place so we're just going to remove this we are going to stitch that down in a second though. Okay, so as you can see, I have, um, I just put some pins in where the felt is to hold it in place. I'm gonna actually sew along the edge 
just so I can um, make sure it stays in place. Okay, so I started adding the grommets, sorry. Um, and I've got one last one. This was kind of a nightmare to do, um, just to make the hole was kind of hard. Apparently there's a tool that like will punch the hole that's perfect size if you have the tool, but I don't. So I use scissors. I, I started with my awl, poked your hole where it went, and then used my scissors to kind of wiggle the hole to make it bigger. The problem with that is that you can screw up, and I've, I've done it before, it's, it's not pretty. So <laughs> I didn't this time though, it's exciting. And it's a little hard to go through all four fabrics because I do have the two layers of felt in the middle. <clears throat> so anyways, when you get your hole, you poke your, your male part of your, um, your grommet through and then this is the female and I don't think which side matters I've been trying to figure, maybe this that's probably the top piece but um I'm gonna put that here and put it over the top sorry and then I just squeeze it with this <laughs> I labeled my pliers because I was having a really hard time remembering which one was right which so the male one which is in the bottom is going to be going with this piece and this piece is for the top these are pliers i got from cam snaps they are handheld ones that'll do this and um all i have to do is put this in here and squeeze now and then take it out let's see if i can get a picture of that okay so sometimes having the right tools is nice so all I'm doing is going to put this in again. The male part is on the bottom. And I know it probably seems really ditzy to label it, but the problem is that sometimes I don't use a certain sewing supply for a while or any type of supply really. And then I forget what I'm doing. And I'll make stupid mistakes that I know better than to make, but I don't just not thinking about it. So sometimes it's nice just to have the labels on there. It ensures I don't mess up and ruin all my supplies. You see all that fluff just went through. And there you go. Perfect. Well done. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, this is the final product and I've got to whip up a couple more of these for my kids. And I hope you enjoyed. You're able to replicate it. Make sure to share your project on Stuff Mama Makes, our Facebook group. Um, let me know if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe. We've got lots of different projects coming up that we will have on here and also on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.